Today we are going to start with a new video based on transportation in plants. Yesterday we have already learned about transportation in animal. Today our main focus is regarding the transportation in plants dear students. Just you see, transportation means the process of transfer of substances from one part of the plant body to other part. For a small distance in plants, this transportation can be done with the help of diffusion process only. That is between adjacent cell, we can transport, plant can transport material by the process of diffusion. Dear children, diffusion means the transfer of material from higher concentration area to lower concentration area. But for a longer distance, this diffusion process alone cannot transfer material from one part of the plant body to another one. This can be achieved by using two conducting pathways. First one is known as xylem and second one is known as phloem. Xylem tissue, xylem conducting pathway is used for the transportation of water and mineral from root to leaves. But phloem is used for transportation of food from leaves to other part of the plant body. Dear children, now we are going to study once again regarding the pathway of transportation. There are two pathways for transportation of plant, xylem and phloem. Xylem transport water and mineral from root to leaves because the root can take water from the soil. Soil is the richest source of water. So water can be transferred from soil to root and then it is transported to the leaves for photosynthesis because water is one of the inorganic substance needed for photosynthesis that you learned already my dear children. Now you must know second conducting pathway that is phloem. It transport the soluble product of photosynthesis that is food made by the plant. It is also known as glucose. It is transferred from leaf to other part of the plant body with the help of conducting pathway phloem. Now you can see this diagram. In the diagram you can see the water and mineral transported from a root to leaves, water and mineral reaching towards the leaf, food is made by the leaf because leaves are known as the kitchen of the cell inside the leaf, soluble product of photosynthesis that is glucose is forming, that glucose is transported to both upward and downward direction towards all the part of the plant body with the help of phloem tissue. Now. Transportation of water and mineral, we are going to study it in little more detail. Transportation of water and mineral, roots are taking water from the soil. Minerals are also dissolved in water, so with water, minerals are also taken by the root from the soil by the process of osmosis. Osmosis is the process of transfer of liquid from higher concentration to lower concentration through a selectively permeable membrane. After that, the water has to be transported towards the leaves because leaves are known as the kitchen of the cell. So, this water is transported towards the leaves with the help of xylem tissue. Xylem tissue consists of two elements, two types of cells, main two types of cells, trichids and vessels. These two cells are non-living cells. They are present in root, stem and leaves. These trichids and vessels combined to form a water conducting pathway, a conducting pathway for water and mineral. Through this pathway, the water and mineral can be taken towards the leaf. There are two factors responsible for transportation of water and mineral from root to leaves. First process is transpiration pull and second one is osmotic pressure. Transpiration pull means, dear children, you know that on the leaf, lower surface, there are tiny openings known as stomata. Through stomata, water escapes out in the form of water vapor. That process is known as 
transpiration. Due to transpiration, the leaves are having a low pressure area for water. Due to that, water can be taken from a root to leaves by sucking action. That is known as transpiration pull. Osmotic pressure, that is transfer of liquid from higher concentration to lower concentration. Due to osmotic pressure and transpiration pull, water reaches to the leaf that is kitchen of the cell. Now translocation. Translocation means the process of transfer of food material made by the plant by the process of photosynthesis. That food material is known as glucose. Glucose is taken and transported to different parts of the plant body through phloem tissue. Phloem tissue also consists of two types of cells, sieve tubes and companion cell. These two types of cells combine to form a conducting pathway for food materials to be transported. This translocation is achieved by diffusion and also this diffusion process is made faster with the help of energy stored in ATP. So, with the help of phloem tissue, the soluble product of photosynthesis that is glucose is transported to different part of the plant body. Like animals, plants are not having complexity in their body organization. That is why mainly these two transportations are done. One transportation of water and mineral to the root, uh, from root to the leaves and food made from the leaves to other part of the plant body. Now you can differentiate between xylem and phloem. It is a conducting tissue for transportation of water and mineral from root to leaves. Phloem is a conducting tissue used for transportation of food from leaves to other part of the plant body. Xylem consists of tracheids and vessel. Phloem consists of sieve tubes and companion cell. Xylem allows only the direction of water and mineral in upward direction, but the transport of food takes place through, uh, through the phylum, phloem, sorry, through the phloem in both direction. Thank you children. Today I am going to wind up this video. I hope you will clear with this portion. Thank you children.